Hello guys, I'll be teaching you guys how to make IAPs, in-app purchases. And this is going to be completely codeless. So what we're going to do is create an entirely new project. And then we're going to label this test project. So first I would have to connect this project to my Unity account. So I would go to services and then just click whatever organization. And after that I would press create. Now you will see this tab and what you want to do is simply click on in-app purchasing and turn it right on. You can just click this thing if your app is targeted to children under age 13 but for now we'll just ignore it. Now let's download and import all our in-app purchasing assets. Now we'll just go on with the process, click next and click import. Wait a few seconds. And now I would just simply click next right here. And I would import that as well. So now you'll see the screen about asking you if you made a backup. And I always recommend that you make a backup in case something else goes wrong, in case you might lose stuff. But for now, uh, there's nothing really important, so I'm just going to go. And now, all I have to do is right click, and then you can see in this drop down list, Unity I IAP. Simply click on the Unity IAP button. And now, if you look over here in the IAP button menu list, this is everything you need to configure, everything you can do to customize your button to your heart's extent. So for now, we're going to drag our button to the middle of the screen and simply increase its size. And now we're going to access our IAP catalog and this is going to be a menu like a drop down list for all your in-app items. And now we're going to make our first uh, in-app item. So you're going to start off by putting in com dot. This is going to be very important and now we're going to put in our company or publisher name and then we're going to end that with a dot. You don't really need the parentheses these are just like examples and now we're going to put in the name of your game dot finally this is going to be the name of your item and then we're going to end that with a dot and next you're going to decide the type of your item so we have three types consumable non-consumable subscription consumable will be like potions and non-consumable will be like swords and weapons and so first we're going to do consumable and now if you go into the advanced menu, you will see in the descriptions and you're going to now choose your location. So we're going to choose for us, the United States Google Play and App Store. And now over here, you can make a title for your item. So we're going to put a title like potions. And then our, and then you're going to write a description. And for us, we might put in uh, five potions that heal all damage or something like that. You can change that based on your item. And now, if you're going to connect to Google, if you're going to pay out using Google, you can go to Google Configur Configurations and use the price. And this is going to be in the currency of the location you chose over here. So I would put in $0.99. Well, you can input a number for your price. A more secure way of making a price would be to put in a pricing template. And so in order to do that, I would go to my Google Play console and go to settings and go to pricing templates over here you can make a new pricing template yourself now this is a very easy process so i'm sure you guys can do this yourself but for me i already made i already made a pricing template so what i would do is simply copy this and then i would simply uh copy and paste right here it says provide either a price or an id so i would erase this since we only need one and if you're going to launch to Apple, I would go to Apple configurations and then you can simply go into this drop down menu and select your price. And now I recommend you guys to check this box for to automatically initialize Unity purchasing. Now, since we've made an item, we should go to our IAP button and go to our product ID drop down list and select your item that you just made. Okay, about button type, we have two types, purchase and restore. But since we're purchasing an item, we would put on the purchase option. And this consume purchase uh, little checkbox 
we would actually not select it because uh, the consume purchase box is only ticked when you automatically consume it or right after you purchase it let's say for chess but since we're making potions we would not need to check now over here within this menu we would add a script that would compensate the player for buying this item and so since we bought five potions we would put in a script that would put the potions within the player's inventory for example but since we don't have a script right now uh, i would just skip it. and now let's test out our purchase so let's go to our play button and now we would click on our purchase button and click buy and now this would initiate whatever script you had that would compensate the player and that's it thank you for watching our video